Why and when implant fails? Well, we know that uh, all mechanical devices eventually fail. Uh, obviously, both uh, American Medical System and Coloplast want their devices to last as long as possible. However, like any device, they have a, a limited life expectancy, but it's good to understand why these devices fail. Now, looking at the uh, type of device, the way the Coloplast device is constructed, the cylinders are indestructible. I, 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 in, in my 30 plus year of doing penile implants, I've never seen a penile implant uh, cylinder fail from Coloplast. I've seen maybe two from aneurysm, and this was in, in the early days. The uh, reservoir also is very durable, and the pump itself is very durable. What fails with the Coloplast device, however, is the tubing. The tubing that uh, connects this little tubing here, that connects the, 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 the pump to either the cylinders or the, the reservoir. And unfortunately, this tubing is fragile and the tubing will rub against each other like this when placed inside the body and over time creates a groove, exposes the filament and the fluid will leak. Or if the tube is bent here at the junction with the uh, in insert of the pump, it will crack over there. That's the most common failure of the uh, coloplast implant. Well, with the touch pump, we've seen that happen between 8 and 12 years in, in many patients. And we're correcting our technique to avoid that by separating the tubing, making sure that they don't rub, and making sure that there's no acute bend when it's inserted, uh, when the, where the tube inserts into the pump. Incidentally, the older model, the classic pump, uh, the Coloplast pump, has been shown to last even longer. And I have patients now 20 plus years. I have a patient 26, 27 years with a classic pump and still works very well. And I'm always amazed when I see these patients for follow-up and they tell me that their in the devices work uh, extremely well. The AMS uh, implant, on the other hand, uh, also experiences failure as well. Uh, we've had patients also many, many, many years with the AMS implant. The cylinders are a little more fragile. They're silicone cylinders, they're three layers, and those cylinders tend to fail when the outer silicone layers cracks, exposes the mesh, there's a little mesh inside, and then tissue will then grow into the mesh like it grows into a hernia mesh, and then it starts to tether the cylinders. So as soon as a patient has, let's say, a little bump, a little aneurysm, of their cylinder with AMS, it needs to be removed right away, even if the implant works, because it will be very difficult to remove it if it's left there for many, many years. The tubing also uh, uh, tends to uh, get damaged with AMS, but the AMS tubing, in my opinion, is superior to the uh, coloplast tubing and is less likely uh, to fracture prematurely.